child, America has a president, a living president, and his name is Fitzgerald Grant. Child, I just got through watching the new episode of Scandal tonight. And I'm going to say this, Shonda Rhimes, I'm so damn exhausted. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Child, within the first minute of tonight's episode, I done had three heart attacks. I went into cardiac arrest. I had an aneurysm on my right on my right brain that had bust, child, and I had fainted five times. Within the first minute of the show, Shonda Rhimes, you have straight gagged us tonight with scandal. What the hook? Now, I ain't even going to spend a whole bunch of time on the ending because come to find out, Hook is the one who shot um, President Fitz. Or at least we think he's the one who shot President Fitz. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say to that. But you know what? My friend just pointed out a good point. It's all Olivia's fault. She the one who got him killing again. And now he just can't control it. He just going around shooting people. He done shot Connie Chung in the, in the stomach and she done died. The White House press secretary, and that was low key racism anyway, but I'm gonna move on from that. But he done shot Connie Chung in the stomach. He done shot President Fitz. He done shot the bodyguard, and his dumb behind still standing up there guarding Miller in the hospital. It's just shenanigans all over the place. But let's just go ahead and get into it. Like I said, Shonda Rhimes, you got a straight gagging tonight with all these flashbacks of. Um, Olivia and Fitz and Cyrus and everything and Cyrus' boyfriend, James. Olivia, you real nosing for snooping around the White House. You all up on cloud nine thinking about the president and everything and you eavesdropping on Cyrus and his boyfriend, but that's how you have found out that he's a homosexual. So it makes sense now, but still, instead of um, listening to Cyrus and James argue about going to the inauguration ball, you should have been thinking about all them security cameras in the Oval Office and in the White House when you was being a slut on the Oval Office table. Now, I'm just thinking, so I'm sitting there watching the episode tonight. Is it just me or... Did you get the feeling that you was watching soft porn tonight? So I know the, you know, the chemistry between uh, between Olivia and President Fitz is like uncanny. It's unreal. It's sexual. It's just, oh my God, it's just beautiful. But I'm sitting there thinking like, this is soft porn that I'm watching. Olivia slutty behind, jumping up on top of the table or whatever. Talking about nap, nap, nap. But then you're going to get on the table and slide up your little dress or whatever and start letting the president kiss all over you and all kind of stuff like that. Excuse me, I'm a mouth dry. But you a hoe, girl. You are seriously a hoe, Olivia. You just got entirely too much going on on this episode. But then we got the vice president, Sally, her butch queen ass, She's such a dyke. Like, oh my God, I'm just so over her. Old bull dagger, as the old people call him. She want to get up there and start trying to take over. And by the end of the night, she has succeeded. Ain't nothing like a determined white woman. But you want to get up there and start trying to take control. Cyrus had to come in there and child Cyrus had read you boots, girl. Or whatever. And basically told you to slow your roll. Remember Amendment 25. The president. You don't take office until the president is dead. And then just like Millie had got up and said. America has a president. A living president. And his name is Fitzgerald Grant. Not um you Sally. Not you. You are not the president. But it's just like a typical woman. No shade women all out there. But y'all know how y'all always like to um try to take control of situations. Y'all got that takeover spirit. Y'all just need to sit down and let a man be a man sometimes. But I have to give it to Olivia. You a home worker. You an adulteress. You just, you know, you just a slut and everything. But I'm proud of you, girl, because if you're going to cheat, cheat big. If you're going to be a hoe, be a big hoe. Don't just be no regular, no regular mistress, you know, to no preacher. Don't be no regular mistress to no drug dealer. Be the mistress of the president, girl. Go big or go home. Well, 
If you're going to cheat, cheat bit, like I said. And then I had got mad for a quick second because the gladiator was back over at Olivia Pope and Associates just watching everything on TV. Child, it was too, this scandal was too big for them. They just had to sit back and take notes and watch Olivia work. And honey, she worked. She told the little assistant in the White House, go to my house, get my toothbrush, get my pads, get my pantyhose, get me a, a black suit, a blue suit, a gray suit, and give me like 15 blouses and all kinds of stuff like that. Yes, girl. She told him to go. So Olivia came and took charge. She went to the um into the press room and gave all the orders out. She gave everybody orders. Olivia was back, honey. She ain't had no contract. She ain't had no health benefits. She ain't had no eye benefits. She ain't had no 401k. She ain't had no, no company phone. She ain't had no company car. But she stepped in immediately back into the fix of Mrs. Olivia Pochon. And all the people in that White House was glad to see her back. But yeah, back to Quinn. You have made me real mad tonight with that little smart comment that you had made when y'all was in there talking. Talking about did Hulk go back and tell the girl or whoever he was that he was an assassin. All I'm going to say to you, Quinn, is excuse me for everybody who's about to hear me um, say this vulgar word. Shut the fuck up. That's what you need to do. And in that order, straight like that, somebody to slap you across your head. And I hope you was listening so you can hear what happened to you and why you had to be shot in the foot tonight and drug all across the country and you don't even know who you are. But child, like I said, the chemistry between President Fitz and Olivia is like, it's just straight crazy. They're talking about, they can't stop. I'm serving you. She smiled and I take off my clothes for you. We can't stop, child. Y'all bowels moving all over the place. Y'all just having sex all over the place like little rabbits and stuff. But Olivia, you can't blame nobody but yourself. You want to know why? Because that's what sideline hoes do. You just sit back and let him wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and keep on about your business. You can't get emotional. You can't be falling in love with him. Ain't nobody got time for that. You're going against the rules of what being his hoe really actually means. I'm just like, Olivia, I love you, girl, but I'm just so pissed at you because all this is your fault. All this shit was your fault. You want to be cute. You want to be seductive. You want to have Hulk out there shooting people and killing people and get rid of people. All this is your fault, child. And like I said, I'm so mad that they had killed Connie Chong tonight because she was a nice little girl. She was a really, really, really nice little girl. But y'all, did y'all see when Millie got Olivia together in that hospital waiting room? She was like, don't you sit down next to me as if you and I are friends. And Olivia shows you right. Yeah, you you take it, you giving orders or whatever, but what makes you think you can go sit down next to her and start trying to tell her what to do, even though she had did what you said because everybody know you good at what you do, but you was wrong for rolling up on her, making it seem like he was about to hug her. Bitch, we ain't friends. We ain't Oprah and Gail. No, absolutely not. So get away from me and then you're going to go over to the White House closet and have your little moment where you breaking down in the um in the closet holding on to his sweatshirt and stuff like that. Olivia ain't nobody got time for none of that. Nobody told you to fall in love with the president. Like I said, you good for being his mistress and cheating with the head kahuna in charge and everything. But girl, ain't nobody got time for you to be catching no feelings for nobody. And then we had a full circle moment when we found out that Hollis was the one who blew up, you know, had that explosion out there. And he crazy sitting there talking to Olivia on the bench, telling, talking about lives had to be sacrificed and all kind of stuff like that. And he the one why Quinn got put all over the place. And child, we got that old butch queen Sally and got the votes together, the cabinet, and she done took over and then sworn the other lady in. Oh, the, the cancerous lady. Uh, child, the cancerous woman, Supreme Court judge. It's just so much shit going on in that show. Shonda Rhimes, this is ridiculous. Like, for real, after tonight's episode, I was just completely drained. I was completely exhausted. I was mentally frustrated. I was emotionally frustrated. I was physically tired. I had to take my glasses off. Had to get me a drink of wine. It was just so much happening on tonight's episode. And I just don't know what to do. So I'll be here next week, same damn time, the same bat damn channel. 
and we're going to figure out what the heck is going on with Hulk and who hired him because that's the gag child. In the previews, y'all saw he was saying he's a trained killer. Yes, he's a trained killer. So that means somebody hired him to take out the president. And I wouldn't be surprised if the vice president or that old psychopath who was running her campaign, her chief of staff, if, if that man really didn't get rid of him. It's just so much going on, child. And it makes you think, like, do all of this stuff go on in real life? Because Shonda Rhimes just ain't making this shit up for no reason, child. It, it, it ain't just falling out the sky. She, you know, I don't know. All this in the name of America? Child, I can't deal with all this. But like I said, I see y'all next week. Same damn time. Same damn channel. And we're going to go through this all over again. Hopefully next week I won't have a headache after watching this episode. Bye-bye, y'all. I got to finish eating.